Okay, so here we go. Um, yes, so you you come to the uh, main home page, um, which is www.registrycure.com. Um, you can see the link to the right of this video uh, if you're looking at it on YouTube. And uh, you just click on the link and, and that will take you uh, to this page. Um, now, uh, you just come along here and uh, click on free scan. And then uh, save the file to your computer. Like so. Now, of course, um, you know, uh, you could, if you wanted to, to go to the file and actually do a, a virus scan of that file. Um, but uh, we've uh, checked these uh, uh, these uh, files out and uh, over time. And this is a very reputable um, Windows registry cleaner uh, software and company. Uh, which has been going uh, some time, uh, many years actually. Um, so we're not too concerned about the scanning, but if you feel that you want to virus scan this uh, registry cure setup.exe, then uh, please do go ahead. Uh, we're actually, or I'm actually not going to be doing that here. I'm just going to be basically opening uh, the file itself. Um, it, it tells you that it's an executable and it may contain viruses, etc. Uh, that would be the same error message you get up uh, for, for any software you're downloading. Uh, we're happy to, on this occasion, to say please don't ask again uh, on this uh, particular site. And we're going to OK. And uh, up here it says, uh, we'd like, would you like to run the program? So yes, we're going to run the program. This uh, basically allows you to install the Registry Cure program to your uh, hard disk on your computer. And it shouldn't take very long. We accept the agreement. Go next. I'm going to say we want to create a desktop icon. Um, so we can, uh, next time we want to do a scan, we can just go to that icon and click on it. Next, uh, within a 10 seconds or so, uh, we've installed the program itself. We just close that down. Ah, and here we are. We're ready to do a scan of our computer. Okay, right. Uh, well, this is the um, first time I've actually um, looked at this particular uh, version of the software. So, um, uh, but it's pretty self-explanatory. So, um, although I'm producing the video uh, explaining to you, I am actually going through this for the first time as well. So, um, please bear with me. Now, um, along here, it tells you all the categories of. Um, uh, items that um, the, the, the actual scan will, will actually look for and uh, so it will look inside this registry database if you like and it will look for all these different types of elements and components and issues and problems uh, that, that may well be in there um, that, are, that are effectively you know uh, slowing your computer down um, to one degree or another um, so we really want to sort of do a scan and see what what is uh, what is happening, and uh, uh, with a view to then removing uh, any issues and problems, so that uh, we get to a situation where we're uh, our computer is as, as fast and as as powerful uh, as we can possibly make it. So what we do is we do a scan now um, in the middle here, um, and here we go. Uh, we're just going through a process of scanning, uh, already says uh, 10, 11, 12, 13 critical errors, um, so that's a little bit concerning. Um, this this uh, is going to take a little while, a uh, matter of minutes uh, from what I understand. So I'm going to pause the video now and come back uh, when uh, we've got to the end of the scanning process. Okay, that, that took a, um, about four or five minutes uh, to do a complete scan um, of my uh, registry database. Um, basically, I, I'm using uh, Windows Vista 
uh, not sure that makes a great deal of difference uh, whether you're using XP or Vista etc um, but basically um, it's found uh, 1145 critical errors uh, on my computer um, now I do know that this particular machine this laptop Sony Vio uh, was running a great deal faster two or three months ago so um, and I have scanned my hard drive and defragmented it so I'm very much assuming that a lot of that is down to um, errors in, in my uh, Windows registry. Um, so obviously I'm very keen on, 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 on sort of getting those removed. Down here it, it gives you a breakdown of all the different errors and issues. Uh, 205 COM active exit entries. A lot of this will not be necessarily uh, something that, that you might understand. Um, but uh, I guess, uh, you know, um, once you've cleared uh, all these out, all these issues out that this uh, professional uh, piece of software actually has found, um, the proof will be in the eating and, and hopefully uh, you will find that once you've cleared these out that uh, your machine will be running very much faster and you've got a, a great deal more peace of mind. So up here is, is the next button. As you see, we've got step two and three. We're going to go next. Um, then it gives again a breakdown of all the different errors, how many errors, hundreds of errors and 500 errors etc. Now we want to click on fix errors uh, which will then remove a certain number of those um, and then we get uh, an email ID up which uh, I'm going to put in uh, my email ID which is Stephen at seodragons.com uh, and Stephen, that's my name. OK, so we're going to OK. OK, uh, we give given a warning here that uh, it's found uh, 1,145 errors on your computer. Uh, it's telling you uh, that me that uh, we're basically using an unregistered version, um, but it will remove uh, some areas uh, based on the current scan. The unregistered version of Regicure automatically removed 210 errors, right? So that's good. Um, and then uh, click yes if you would like to, uh, you know, get a registration key for Registry Cure. Uh, now I know that to register Cure is actually on a 15% discount at the moment so if you'd like to go forward and actually uh, purchase the, uh, the the software then of course you can do that here. Uh, for now I'm going to say no uh, so we can complete uh, this, this uh, video. Okay so basically it's telling, it, telling me here that um, we had uh, 205 errors for COM active entries um, and the software has very kindly cleaned those off, uh, having uh, as uh, although it has actually uh, ignored a lot of these because we're using an unregistered version. Um, uh, it tells you basically the date, the time it was scanned, how many total errors, how many were cleaned uh, to date, and the version of the program, which of course you know you want to keep up to date. Uh, as you go, as you would any antivirus program or spyware program, and then we can go OK now. So really, that completes the um, process of, of showing you through the the software, and um, look forward to uh, explaining uh, more on on the subject um, uh, in the future. And uh, please do go to um, Registry Cure. Dot com. Um, look, at, look for the link uh, at the right of this video, click on that and uh, you'll be taken to the right page where you can go through this process. Uh, thank you for listening and uh, look forward to uh, talking to you in the future. Goodbye.